Hi everybody, I'm going to talk to you today about how to do some yield farming on Moon River. If you don't know what Moon River is, this is an EVM compatible chain that is running on the Kusama network that allows you for easy porting of uh, tokens from BSC, from Ethereum, from any other EVM compatible chain into their chain and then allows you to do uh, f interact with you know new token farms new new bridges new nft projects that are going to be launching over there now just like any other kind of layer two chain it is cheaper to transact over on moon river than on ethereum is it cheaper than bsc uh, is it cheaper than polygon is it cheaper than solana I i'm not going to do that comparison i will tell you this when it comes to speed because i've done transactions on polygon BSC, Moon River, I'm on Solana, I've uh, done Ethereum. Right now, I put Moon River as about on par with Polygon. And I would put those ones underneath Binance Smart Chain. Even though Binance Smart Chain has had a couple days when things have been a little bit wonky, so, have the, so has Polygon. And I'd say consistently Binance is faster than Polygon. Now, Moon River was slow, I thought, and I'm going to show you some transactions and how to get money over there. But it is on the 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 Canary, you know, the uh, Kusama network. It's not on the BSC one. There's more decentralization, and we do know with more de decentralization, usually you lose a little bit more speed. Now it is in early stages. They could get better. I have to admit, though, I would I was I was not super impressed. But let's go ahead and get into it. So the Moon River coin is uh, been doing pretty well, but if you look at it over the last seven days, I mean, it's it, it hit a high of 440 and it's come down. It might have come down just because of the hype and the fact that we're starting to get, um, you know, the first farms are going live over there. They've been working. Some of them might have even been working for a while. It's just I finally decided to go over there and check some of this stuff out. Now, the first thing we all know you need to do when you're trying to get onto a new chain is set up your MetaMask. So I have a link to this site. This is by the dark dot market cap. And it, the it's, top of it is going to be like how to set up MetaMask. So if you don't even have a MetaMask, you can start here and it will tell you how to download one, how to how to get it started, say no, you know, how to set up your seed phrase so that you don't lose your funds. Make sure you never give that seed phrase to anyone. And then right here, this is an important thing for anybody just adding it to their current MetaMask. The network name is Moon River. The RPC is rpcmoonriver.moonbeam.network. And then it's got a chain ID of 1285, a symbol MOVR for the Moon River token. And then it's got a blockchain explorer right here. If you just copy this stuff out and add it to your MetaMask wallet. So if you go to MetaMask, as you can see, I have just a tiny bit of Moon River here. And you go to custom RPC. You'll get a nice blank one here. And so you'll just you'll just take this information and put it into here. Now, obviously, you'd want to open up a separate window to open up your MetaMask somewhere where you can see this and type. So I'm not going to try to copy and paste in this example. But once you do, you save it. And then I've already done this. So I already have my account set up on Moon River. And as you can see, I moved over my crowns token from the Seascape project that I'm working with because they've moved over to being bridged into the Moon River ecosystem. They're one of the projects that got me to finally come and look into to this because they're doing a um, launch pad over here so that that's kind of an exciting project to try to get into a little bit early and then I moved over just a tiny bit of funds to do some testing in one of the yield farms just so that I would have done it and now one of the nice things about this is that if you use any swap to go ahead and swap your funds they are currently giving you point I think it's 001 moon river tokens let me see it's yeah, it's like 001. They'll give you like this right here. That's enough for you to get a little bit of money for gas for your first transaction. So you don't need to buy the Moon River token if you use the AnySwap protocol. Um, I got I found that out while trying to get money over here. There is also this bridge here, and I, you'd have to talk, since this is powered by AnySwap, this should work too. This is on Solar Beam. This is one of the farms we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and and show you how you would use this bridge here. Uh, I think most people it'd be really easy for you to find an example of how to use AnySwap's bridge, and bridging in general is relatively simple. So. You're gonna you're gonna have to say you're going from BSC, 
to Moon River, and then you're going to have to select your token. Now, you're going to see the tokens are kind of limited, but they're not too bad because if you're going from BSC, they do have BUSD and BNB, and BUSD and BUND are on a lot of the farms over there. Now, if you're on Ethereum, they're going to probably have Ethereum and USDC and because I see those all over the place over there as well. So it'd be nice if you could transfer DOT across because a DOT on BSC is kind of messed up. So I'm going to move over some BSC because I do have a little bit. So um, this is my current balance on Moon River, but I'm going from BSC to Moon River. So it's going to show my $300 I have in here. So I'm going to move over $100. Now, one of the nice things when you're moving over money to uh, here is that, oh, I have to switch over to BSC on here. I can't be on Moon River. There we go. So now BSC, select my BUSD. We'll do $100. Now you normally couldn't bridge $100 from Ethereum or it wouldn't be very practical, right? And to be honest, if you're gonna come over here and actually get into these yield farms, um, in bigger numbers, you're going to be moving more funds than these. But what's nice is that you're moving from, if you're moving from BSC or Polygon, you can actually do these transactions and you're only paying the little tiny BNB fee. So you can move over $100 for three cents and it's not a big deal. And then you're just going to have to wait a few minutes and then eventually we're going to see these assets go ahead and show up in my MetaMask wallet. Now, as you can see, this is working very well. I will give this credit to the projects over on um, Moon River, all of them seem to have bridges. All of them have bridges that work well. That, that transaction was already um, done on my Binance side. So we'll go over to Moon River and we'll check my assets. I don't have it quite here, but it hasn't said that it's uh, on Moon River. So now it did update to processing. So that probably does show that it is um, you know that one side is confirmed sorry I know I gotta I gotta be a little bit more ready when we're doing bridges after this I'm gonna be showing you a list of sites you could check out for yield farming that I found with the VFAT tools if you know about VFAT tools they're really a site that uh, teaches you and shows you yield farms very early on but because of that if you're gonna come and look at these understand that there is a severe risk of scams rug pulls or tokens that aren't scams or rug pulls but just are just a copy of goose are just a copy of the old yield farms and without anything new or hot their token price will probably just trend down and go down quickly um and that's just the reality of yield farms you know if a yield farm doesn't have a way to stand out and make sure that it is doing things that are exciting and driving new value to keep customers around people tend to farm and people tend to just keep the money uh, let's see and so this is what i did mention that uh okay we're done so they haven't said that it's done but as you can see i'm on my rune river chain and i have 100 busd over here so now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the yield farms so that they have them listed here now i don't know if this is in any particular order because I know like Elk is a pretty uh, legitimate project and apparently Elk Finance does have uh, Moon River pools. Um, there's also Moon Farm, Solar Bean, Moon Cafe, Buy, there's a whole, a whole bunch. So really quickly, to, I'm just gonna be looking at these first two today. You can come and check all of these out. The, description, the link will be in the description. But here's Moon Farm. Moon Farm, as you can see, if you're willing to get into the Moon token pools with the USDC, they have that normal thing where it's, you know, really high APYs here. Then they have some other some other uh, pools down here with, you know, relatively respectable APRs. Nothing, nothing too crazy in here except for these top two. And you can see, you know, they have farms, lotteries, uh, analytics. They have a locker. Um... Oh, so that's interesting. <laughs> that takes you over to Moonswap Locker. And then we're going to be taking a look now at the one farm that I'm on, and that is Solar Beam. Now, I came to Solar Beam because this was the one that was kind of um, shown with the, uh, with the stuff when I first got into it. And it has a token that has been doing pretty well in price is in the Solar Token. And so I'm hoping the Solar Token 
works out well. I also feel like their site was just a little bit better built, though it's not perfect. One of the things I notice when I'm connected and I have a little bit of money in here, it's not showing me that I have a little bit of which pool I'm in in any way. I am in, I think, uh, this one. Yeah, with just $100 that I moved over before, earning 27% on a dollar pegged pool is not too bad. So I brought over some BUSD, so all I need to do is get some more liquidity for this. So how would I get more liquidity for this? Um, this is one of the other things, as you can see, they're not really showing you. What, what, what do I do? Where do I go? How do I get liquidity? So you have to, you have to kind of be a more... Uh, seasoned user of these sites because they don't have like those little uh, things that are a little bit no more normal on the more established change so you're gonna have to come over here and figure that out so we're gonna go from BUSD to USD and we're gonna swap um, yeah we'll just swap 50 and I'll end up probably with a little bit they'll show you the, the peg and the trade and so now you can see a swap on the Moon River Network Let's see if they impress me today. Maybe the first day I was using them, they were just a little bit slow. Because right there, it's submitted. That's that's an interesting trick. So they say it was submitted, but it's still pending. So see, they kind of made it look like your trade went through. Now, I can tell you about right now, um, Solana would have been done by now. And then we're still waiting. I kind of feel like BSC would have been done by now. Okay. Moon River's done. So it's close, but it's not lickety split. It's not super fast. What it is, is ridiculously cheap. As you can see, I have almost no Moon River, and that took almost no Moon River from me. Now, that's nice to see. Now, uh, it does take Moon River, so if Moon River becomes some ungodly expensive token, then it would be a little bit more expensive. Now we want to pool our liquidity, right? So we're going to go to the pools. We're going to add liquidity, and we're going to change it to BUSD. USDC, we're gonna do a max here. This will leave me with just a little bit there. We're gonna confirm the add. We're gonna confirm the supply. We're gonna get it up here. We're gonna see that gas fee of 0.008. So that 0.001 that you get from free from the faucet for, for transferring funds, it's only really gonna cover one trade. So make sure you transfer up over enough money and then make sure your first trade is for the Moon River token if you wanna come over here and get into this ecosystem. Now, why might you want to come over here and get into this ecosystem? It's really because this is the, the start of Ethereum type yield farming and stuff on the Polkadot ecosystem, even if it is on the Canary network, as opposed to the Polkadot ecosystem. But some of these projects might be looking to get ported over. You might get involved in a project early enough to get something airdropped to you or a special ability to get into their their uh, bids for going into the polka dot ecosystem now solar beam isn't doing anything and i wasn't early to it but i felt like it was time to at least cover this chain kind of dip my toe into it and learn a little bit about it because we don't really know which chain which layers twos are going to rise to the top over the next couple of years and i'm wondering if the ones on polka dot could be the one to do it i mean there's a lot of competition finances is pretty established uh, Polygon is pretty established. You have um, Solana with a whole lot of money. And then one of the next ones I'm going to need to cover is Cardano because now Cardano is coming into this sphere as well. So there's going to be a lot of options. Options are good for us consumers, but we're going to have to make sure that we uh, pay attention and we don't get involved in the ones that are not any good. So now I'm going to go over to the farm. I'm going to go back to the BUSD USDC pair. It's going to show my wallet balance and my staked amount. I'm going to go ahead and do max and I'm going to stake. And then I'm going to confirm. Now, one of the things I'm going to be interested to see is if uh, they're doing that thing when you stake, if you get your harvest. I've, I've so far with $100 farmed 0.003 solar token and a solar token is $23. So that's not really very much money. <laughs> All right, my transaction confirmed in MetaMask, so it should pour up here pretty soon. And so yes, that looked like that did claim my uh, my money. My money. I like it when they do that. It saves you a gas fee if they have it programmed that way. So now, if I look at my assets, let's see if MetaMask updated with that. No, I'll have to I'll have to actually add the Solar token 
because it didn't quite pick it up yet. But my BUSD is gone. I still have a couple of my crowns, a little bit of Moon River. So that kind of just ends my example here showing you how to get into the Moon River site uh, farms. It'll be the same on any of the other sites you kind of decide to choose here. If you decide to, you know, um, yeah, this one here, you know, maybe maybe Moonfy is better or maybe Moon Engine or Moon Give Nephi. <laughs> I don't know which one of these is best. I think Elk is interesting to look at, but it would but this would still apply to that. Um, let's go look at that one really quick. Yeah, we're only at 15 minutes, so maybe a few of you would like to see one more farm. So we have Elk Cross Chain Liquidity Network. We've got to launch the D app. We're going to have to connect our wallet and we'll see what they show me when I am on Moon River. Stake your liquidity for elk. Ah, so they are only offering Moon River elk and die elk, but this 283% and 232% means that if you're a fan of elk, it is not the worst thing to do. Um, those are pretty good percentages. I, I don't, I'm not into elk, so I don't know enough about them, but I have heard the name before. All right, everybody. Hope you take care. Goodbye.